Okay. Unfortunately, Panos will not uh, present his data yet, but next time he will present the whole uh, flower, uh, flowers of what's coming out of his project. And now I can invite uh, Professor Harald Manke from the Clinical Institute for Medical and uh, Chemical Laboratory. In the end, in the end, questions in the end. Uh, he is from the Medical University of Graz and will teach us about the role of T-cell and macrophage polarization for the destabilization of arteriosclerosis le atherosclerotic lesions, probably one of the keys why we have clinical arteriosclerotic disease and how we could treat it in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure for me to talk to you to this uh, important topic the role of the immune system and the interaction with the antigen-presenting system with the macrophages. This slide shows you uh, some very different ca uh, characters of people and it should tell you how complex the interactions in uh, cardiovascular disease really are uh, and we uh, tend to think that we know so much about uh, cardiovascular disease, atherosclerosis and so on and if we uh, look at these different phenotypes, uh, it tells us that there are uh, great uh, differences and we uh, have to extend our knowledge in future about this disease. You see, uh, from young people, we are sporty, uh, they are sporty and non-smokers, to the classic risk type, there is a common uh, denominator and this denominator is the destabilized vulnerable plaque which caused an acute myocardial infection. And so we have to improve the understanding of this uh, process here, um, which is, uh, you all know, ca uh, characterized by chronic inflammation, by an immune uh, activation. Um, and um, there is some ca catastrophe going on uh, at the shoulder of this plaque um, where um, the uh, locus me uh, noris resistance here uh, lead um, to uh, these uh, clinical endpoints. And so we have uh, to understand many facets in this process here in the uh, future to improve the understanding. Uh, one of the most uh, important uh, pro uh, processes is the disturbed ferrocytosis, the apoptosis, and the interaction with the chronic inflammatory process is very important uh, to improve the understanding. Uh, standing and um, most importantly uh, the activation of the immune system and the interaction with the antigen uh, antigen presenting system is very Im important here uh, and as you all know um, the um, these vulnerable lesions are usually non stenotic and uh, so uh, they are difficult to di diagnose uh, as you heard before and uh, we have to improve the pre diagnosis of the uh, lesion. Um, so uh, the initiation and antigen presentation is very important. Um, there are uh, many uh, processes with uh, uh, induced uh, um, disease. One of the most important, the lipid uh, oxidation and the immune ac activation and the activation of the macrophages as shown here. Um, all these important uh, of the arterial uh, disease uh, lead to the uh, chronic process which we have to uh, improve our understanding of it. So uh, monocytes and macrophages are central in the disease. You all know uh, that the polarization of macrophages is very important. Um, there are um, very uh, sim simplified sort, the good and the bad ones, the M1 and the M2, but this is far more uh, com uh, complex. Uh, the uh, bleeding uh, into the lesion um, induces uh, the free uh, he hemoglobin, ha um, haptoglobin M2 subtype, um, and um, this um, shows uh, a non foamy nature, this subtype, and uh, it is uh, producing anti-inflammatory cy cytokines. And so uh, the bleeding process is not always uh, um, a bad process. It can also uh, influence the uh, polarization uh, of the macrophages to a more uh, stable occurrence of the inflammatory 
process. And um, so if we look to the macrophages and to their polarization, we see really a Janus phase. Um, and uh, most importantly, besides this uh, M1 and M2 uh, phen uh, phenotypes, uh, subtypes, um, the lipid uh, oxidation process is also very important. New data show uh, that the grade of the lipid pair oxidation in uh, fluorences, uh, the M1 and M2 subtype, uh, subtype uh, whereas um, the uh, low uh, lipid uh, oxidation in uh, fluorences more the M1 subtype and the high lipid uh, oxidation, the M2 subtype. And now you would think about that the high lipid peroxidation uh, is a more worse case, but uh, it tells us the complex interaction in this scenario here uh, that the high lipid peroxidation uh, influences uh, or st uh, stimulates a more uh, suppressive subtype. And so uh, this simply tells us that we have to improves, uh, Im improve our uh, understanding uh, about these different facets of the process here. Uh, to, uh, this will uh, explain us uh, something that so different phenotypes of people uh, can suffer from a, a decompensated uh, vulnerable atherosclerotic lesion. Uh, and in the next part of the story, also, uh, the HDL comes into the play. Uh, it in, uh, uh, fa uh, fa favors, it influences also the polarization of the macrophages, and uh, in this case, also the M2 subtype. And uh, so you see the complex interaction between uh, the lipid uh, system and the immune-mediated inflammation in uh, atherosclerosis. <coughs> there the interaction between the regulatory cells and dendritic cells is also very important. The uh, polarization of the immune uh, system uh, plays a, a, a role. Um, and if you uh, incubate the uh, cells with the Rex, uh, the uh, chemotaxis is influenced. And uh, so uh, usually um, we have to. Uh, understand more uh, about this balance and uh, polarization of the D uh, cells. Uh, a, again, it is not so simple as one uh, may think uh, that only the DH1 are the bad ones and uh, the DH2 are uh, the uh, um, good guys in this play. Um, there is uh, the amplification of the immune response uh, in the uh, draining lymph nodes and spleen, very important. Uh, the microbiome play a role, and uh, also in infectious uh, diseases, uh, there's a flare of uh, cardiovascular disease uh, in, sp uh, in uh, autumn and in spring. Uh, this may be due to the uh, infections and the activation of the T-cell system. Is also the polarization is important in this con uh, context. Uh, and uh, you all know that uh, in winter time uh, endpoints occur more frequently, which is also uh, maybe due to this uh, polarization. So uh, we have a really complex picture here also, um, where we do not know where the good and bad guys uh, sim simplified uh, at the uh, taxonomy uh, uh, may tell you that the DH1 cells are uh, the dangerous one, the uh, in use, uh, the um, hold is, uh, had the uh, information on hold. Uh, the DH2 cells are also more pro uh, heterogenic. Uh, for the DH70s, uh, uh, you don't know so uh, uh, exactly in uh, detail, and the only nice guy which uh, uh, may su suppress and uh, act like a break of the uh, aggressive inflammation uh, are the T-Rex. Uh, and they, again, are influenced uh, by uh, OX-LDL. So lipid oxidation is really very important. And we have also to consider the grade uh, of uh, lipid uh, oxidation and this balance between 
uh, the acute in, uh, inflammation, as uh, Dr. Hun uh, told uh, us before, also we learned from him that uh, this balance is very important and so uh, the chronic in, uh, inflammatory pro uh, process uh, which uh, follows the acute uh, in, uh, inflammation is important for healing and this is also important to understand. So uh, the, the toll-like re uh, receptor play also an uh, important role. Uh, you all know that the toll-like re uh, receptors 2, uh, 4 and 7 are involved in the process and uh, so uh, there is the uh, uh, innate uh, immune response, uh, uh, innate uh, immune re response immune system also very uh, important in this con uh, context, but even other uh, markers like trimethylamine enoxide, which are due to the lifestyle uh, to uh, uh, diet rich in meat, uh, are involved uh, <coughs> in the uh, immune activation and in the polarization of the macrophages, and this uh, may also play an important role uh, for the vi vulnerabilization of the uh, atherosclerotic lesions. So um, I come to my conclusion. The challenge remains, how can we diagnose a vulnerable uh, atherosclerotic lesion at the right time in a still asymptomatic person patient? This is, remains a challenge. How to treat this person effectively without side effects? Any complication in a yet healthy person is in a acceptable, and uh, I'm sure that an improved understanding of the axis between the immune activation and macrophage uh, polarization uh, and also immune system polarization uh, provided by cooperation between nanotechnology, la laboratory me medicine and radiology may be helpful in this context. Thank you very much.